I think it's not only comfortable, I think it's homey. And the service is good. It's fast. It's there. Oh, yeah, because, I don't know, the surroundings are just, I don't know, quiet and peaceful. And it's, uh, it's sort of a vital place, which is nice for a library, because I never thought of libraries as being very vital before. Without the LRD, I think it would be very difficult. If I had to capsulate what LRC is in a single sentence, uh, I would say that uh, LRC is a group of people working together to provide the maximum learning services to students and faculty. And that encompasses a hell of a lot. <laughs> the students in my classes have come in and asked me, uh, say, I saw such and such a film the other day at the LRC. They check them out by themselves. Somebody, you know, suggests they see a certain film and it's becoming very common, much like checking out a book and reading it. But what I have done is we've had some films here that are really good. I've looked at them and would like to show them in class, but I lose an hour if I show the movie. By the time you prepare the students to take a look at it and look for certain points, go through the film, and then rehash it again and summarize it afterwards, an hour a lecture is shot. So it's easier to tell the students, why don't they go over to the LRC and take a look at that movie and use it as a supplement. I think there has been an increased appreciation of uh, what films have to offer on the part of the faculty. I think this is testified to by the 400% increase in films, although that represents uh, heavy usage right directly by students in the LRC. Those figures are built up because of uh, the increased tendency to assign films directly to the students as outside coverage rather than take up classroom time. In fact, we're encouraging this sort of thing. We must use at least maybe three, possibly four different films a week. I know there are a lot of other film-related courses, so you multiply this out, and it gets to be a tremendous amount of film footage uh, going through the projectors in the classroom. I like very much the uh, free access to the equipment uh, by students and faculty. They're trying to make it very available to anyone that wants to use it. They think this is, this is important. like uh, being a doctor, except that the patient doesn't tell you where it hurts. Well, the first complaint was it wasn't working and it was a blown fuse, which uh, indicated there's a short in the circuit someplace, you know, and uh, turned out to be a transistor. We maintain a person on our staff, the LRC, to maintain equipment primarily because we feel that we can give better service to the faculty, the students who use the equipment that we distribute from the LRC. If we sent this equipment out, it would take much longer. Maybe in uh, three, four, five, six weeks, they would have the equipment back to us. I had the experience of having, you know, one of the ladies show me how the microfilm section works, and I didn't know prior to this, and when you don't know something, you're just a little leery of asking for help. Many times students will say, well, I don't want it if it's on microfilm because they're afraid. But now that we have someone in that area who's always there to assist them in setting this up on the machine, I think they're less reluctant to use it. And once they find out how, they're amazed how easy it is. And it's used all the time. Then with our ultra microfiche, only last week a lady was so pleased to find that we had a book on the Pennsylvania Dutch. And she was just enthralled with it. And she sat there and said, oh, I didn't know anything like this existed. This is wonderful. How long have you had this? Well, see, I have such an addiction to movies of the past and the movie stars, and I like to look back and see the things that they've done and the 
introductions and the reviews and the movies and all these little tidbits and gossip. Ideally, I'd like every student that came in to have a personal contact that may be as extensive as one of the reference people taking the student all the way through a research project. Or it may be as, as minimal as just going up and asking the student, are you finding what you're looking for? Well, faculty consulting is, uh, in my opinion, a way of interpreting our services to the faculty. And that includes incorporating any ideas we may have or any of our materials into their program. I needed information once on the word sale, its origin, and where it came from, S-A-L-E, sale. And uh, there were about three or four people that found it very interesting just to have the challenge to try and help. And I was very much impressed with that, I really was, <laughs> that they would take out the time and be so concerned over me getting the information that I needed. I think it's a place that you can feel like is yours. You can do with what you want. I think it's very nice that they have the skylight. You, you can sit there and you can be studying, but it's, it's you know, the sun is coming down and everything is bright. It, it's a very nice atmosphere to be in. And I know a lot of students just come over to the LRC just because it's a place to be. And I, I think this is important because if they're there, they've got to do something. They're going to pick up a book and read, pick up a magazine and read. But, but that's good, and it's an informal learning, too. And uh, I guess um, that's a good way to learn so much of college life is... Uh, is formal learning and to, to do something like this informally, I think it's good. is no different from any other early patron in any library. Libraries basically bewilder people. And uh, ours may be even a little more bewildered because we look and act so much differently than the average uh, library. Students have no problem. They don't categorize, say, books, films, slides, film strips as separate entities. To them, they're all information modules that they can get information from, and, and, it, and it's one. We have a lot to learn from where I think the students' heads are at, if I may use the current terminology, uh, about what media is about. I think as the interest in media increases, teachers all over the college realize that uh, for a student today to communicate through media is just as common as for you and I to communicate through paper and pencil. Once this happens, I think uh, the LRC will probably find itself in a position to, or should consider expanding specific periodicals and, and uh, book selections in media per se. I find it uh, extremely helpful to use current periodical data, such as in the uh, periodical section, newspapers, magazines, uh, to bring up-to-date and supplement theoretical ideas in the classroom with current data to either prove a particular theory that it is working over time and to provide uh, statistical support for that theory. And this, of course, is only available because textbooks are immediately out of date six months before they're published through current periodical information. Another dimension is the uh, bibliographic services. With all of our materials on the computer now, we can offer our faculty members a computerized bibliography that gives him a, the complete rundown of what is available in his discipline and in related disciplines. I wasn't used to study carols when I first came here, and I have found that they are um, very easy to use and probably better than sitting at a table with other people because you're segregated and you can concentrate on what you're doing. In regard to your record collection, I'm a music major and uh, I'm fairly impressed with your, with your record section. You have very, it's very, very nice, uh, if you like romantics. <laughs> the LRC is one of the major places that we like to take visitors who uh, come to the college to see its various facilities.
people, when they, when they come to the college, are very surprised to find that the resources of the LRC are available to them. Even a person who is not taking a course at the college can come in and use the books and pamphlets and records. So when people find out about this, they're extremely impressed, and I think that they then feel that the college is, uh, is more their college. Difficult to give instant service. But we do try, and we try to know where things are, and we can involve keeping records, making phone calls, checking on people, and getting the material and the person together at the time it's needed. Which, with uh, as large a circulation as we have, isn't always very easy. No request is too large, and no request is too small. We search madly or try and find a substitute. And besides the books and the library material, it's a place where everybody comes for any kind of information. I wonder sometimes who, who types up all the little information. Each and every, every book and piece of information that's in there. I mean, somebody has to do it, right? Of course, accuracy is the key word in uh, our department in acquisition and preparation. If we do not have total accuracy, we're in a lot of trouble. Especially rewarding when you walk through the LRC and see all the books out there and the labels on them. and It kind of gives you a good feeling that you've had a part in the whole thing. Well, I think we've got to keep one thing in mind. Uh, though the user uh, may never see the behind-the-scenes activity and technical processing, uh, if it was not for this function of LRC, uh, there would be nothing on the shelves. And in a very real sense, there would be no LRC. The area of production is, of course, responsible for the, the producing of a wide uh, variety, a wide range of uh, materials uh, made available to our faculty and students. Uh, we're in business all the way from fairly simple uh, things, such as slides and transparencies, on up to some very sophisticated uh, film productions and, and television uh, production. For example, our computer film, we were first approached by an instructor from the data processing area. Our need in this case was a simple introductory film to the field of computers. And there's a diagram that's basic to the computer film that depicts internal workings of the computer. So what we did with transparencies was to use the same base diagram for all the processes that were to be shown on the transparencies. The main objective being that we are building a, a visual vocabulary, a base diagram for the student to keep in his head. We provide a uh, what we consider to be a professional quality television production system and make it available as a service to the faculty and staff of the college to support instructional programs, to support experimental things, uh, to make instruction efficient, uh, possibly to can uh, experiments. Uh, we really don't feel as though we've got any uh, tradition that we have to go up against in that respect. We feel as though we can do just about anything that the faculty cares to have us do. And the other aspect of our service is student-oriented, and uh, this uh, takes the form of a, a collection of equipment that we have, which is made available for student projects as part of uh, classroom instruction. Uh, instructors assign students to do projects with television, and we provide the equipment for them to do it with, uh, as much assistance as we can within our small operation. The LRC's Television Services Division uh, has been quite helpful and instrumental in implementing the instructional phase of this by supplying equipment and services and consultation and maintenance, uh, half-inch videotape recorders and closed-circuit cameras that the students say in the beginning television course use. I think it's interesting to note that the moment you have equipment available, such as half-inch television equipment, which initially might have been purchased for very relatively limited applications compared to what is currently happening with it. Right now it's being used in a quote broadcast situation. It's a broadcast situation in that the students are producing a half hour live show every week using closed circuit cameras and equipment that was probably intended for a totally different purpose. They're also very heavily involved in the media workshop which is sort of an open lab situation that they can work on their media projects. They're instructed in uh, how to use the editor and how to use the recorders and all the other equipment that they have. 
they bring their film, they edit it, they get some help there. It, it, it means so much more if you, if you tell a student uh, you don't have this equipment and he has to go and edit it at home with a scissors and, and scotch tape, you, you get a hunk of junk. But this way, they have the professional equipment, they have the professional instruction, and it's much more than I ever had. I see my role as a catalyst than anything else, because um, it's like all the kids are inherently creative and they come in, but they don't realize it because they've never had an opportunity to try things. When students come in that have a project and they just want to do it, they say, I've got to get it done for an assignment. And then after playing around with the equipment for a while, they suddenly become perfectionists and want to elaborate on it. I think a lot of kids have discovered media is a fun way to communicate. LRC is not self-contained. It's felt in the classroom, the office, the conference room, the home, and I think increasingly throughout the community. This takes planning. We don't look upon our program of service as being static, and planning for the future is an almost day-to-day -day function. For example, at the present time, the LRC is vitally involved in planning for our role in instructional design. ID is the maximum use of staff talents for the development of the most uh, efficient and effective student learning situation, utilizing the instructor, uh, the technician, the resource specialist, the teacher aide, and the designer. I think we want to solve our educational problems with uh, excellence and economy. And I think we've come to an increased realization that in order to do this, we need a system, a system for instructional design. We do have a building coming up in the very near future, we hope, and consequently we have had a considerable amount of, of planning from the standpoint of what that building will be. Uh, if LRC at College of DuPage is exciting, then we want that building to reflect the excitement. We don't want to put down into a traditional type of building uh, a very exciting operation, a very exciting function. We want the building to reflect who and what we are. And I think that uh, through uh, planning over uh, quite a period of time involving all members of the staff, that we will come out with perhaps one of the finest uh, community college LRCs in the country. One of the few absolutes in education should be obvious to us. No one has ever cornered the market on learning. Maybe LRC doesn't give grades or publish schedules or even charge tuition, but a great deal of learning takes place in the LRC. It's probably one of the student's best options or alternatives for learning that he has.